Recently, I opened a poll on Twitter and asked which anime you guys wanted me to talk about next. Cowboy Bebop, Trigun, Sword Art Online, or Attack on Titan. AOT won with 45% of the vote, which by the way, if you aren't following me on Twitter, I'm at the underscore fan Ali. After what felt like decades of waiting, Attack on Titan has finally released a second season. And for the purposes of this video, we're only going to look at the anime episodes that are currently in the US as of June 2017. No offense to any manga lovers out there, but to purchase all of the manga to review everything, it would take weeks to make time to read through it all, and I would repel all of the viewers who have only seen the anime. So while this video may contain spoilers and speculations, none of them are from the manga. One of the biggest mysteries that the anime has laid out involves Aaron Yeager's father and the old key to who knows what. Well, okay, we do know it's to the basement, but what's in the basement? We don't have the specifics yet, but I think it's fairly predictable that Aaron's father has something to do with the spread of Titanism, and he's still out there mutating people that he comes across. I'd be willing to bet money that the Beast Titan is Mr. Yeager. So we have a vague understanding of where the Titans came from, but we have no idea why why the Titans were created. It had to be intentional, and the Titans have to be serving a specific purpose, otherwise Mr. Yeager wouldn't keep making more of them. That means the Titans weren't some science experiment gone wrong, they're exactly what they're meant to be. I have to admit, it was a little tricky to figure out, but I think the intro sequence for season 2 gives it away. The opening credits show a montage of soldiers getting ready, combined with flashes of Titans either walking around or wreaking havoc. The soldiers are amping up to fight, and so are the titans. Then it moves on to showing a wall titan that dissolves into a group of humans aimlessly staring forward. Both the humans and the titan are contained and listless. They're the same thing. Finally, the intro focuses heavily on showing this kind of x-ray vision to where we see the hearts of many different creatures. Humans, lizards, bugs, whales, even the beast titan that I suspect is Eren's father. This is probably Titan vision, as we know that Titans can see people who are hiding in houses. But here in the opening credits, the hearts represent that all beings are really the same on the inside, so how can we decide which animals deserve to exist? If we are the same as the Titans, how can we make them our enemy? The outro has some similar themes, where one image shows humans worshipping Titans, another shows us fighting them, and yet another shows three small children eating flesh. So how can we judge the Titans and decide that they need to die when their behavior is subjective to the audience? Now, those are neat details to put under a microscope, but come on, the Titans are a real threat. They don't exist for the sake of satire. That just doesn't work in the context of the series. But I think the hearts offer us the real clue. I'd also like to point out that I think Attack on Titan takes place in the future and not in an alternate timeline. In the first episode of AOT, we're told that it's the year 845, but I think that marker is there for misdirection. For some reason, over 800 years ago, humans reset the year that they were counting from. This idea is firmly backed up with the name of the first episode, To You in 2000 Years. Who is the you it's referring to? There's no reference of time passing like that, and we're not shown one person who's documenting anything, which means that to you is literally to us, the viewer. In 2000 years means that it's really the year 4000, give or take a few decades. So this show is our personal warning. But warning for what? Well, humans are at war with the Titans, which is really just becoming a metaphor for mankind being at war with itself, since we've learned that all Titans are manned by regular people. If that's the case, then the Titans were either created through some nuclear bombing, much like Godzilla, or the Titans were made to be unstoppable soldiers. But the problem was that the Titans couldn't be controlled, and as Eren states, humanity was pushed to the brink of extinction almost overnight. But we're not done yet, because Titanism is still spreading in a very controlled manner. 
Okay, so if I were a mad scientist who created Titans, the next observation I made would be that humans are completely destroying the planet. We not only kill each other, but we have a knack for wiping out all plants and animals around us too. And if we have over 7 billion people on the planet here in 2017, imagine how overcrowded the world will be by 4017. Hey, the war that produced the Titans might have been over controlling food resources to begin with. So we've got a heavily overpopulated planet that's dying because of humans, and we have the invention of Titanism. Well, why not put them together and wipe out 99% of the human race, save the planet, then allow the quote, worthy people to survive after they've changed back from Titans to humans. And judging by how the beast Titan controls the others, he can change them back to regular people at will, likely by telling them to wake up or something similar to that. Actually, after using the word worthy, I'm starting to convince myself that the weird religion of the wall is involved in choosing who does and doesn't become a titan. Well, that's a theory for another day. But killing off humanity for the sake of saving the planet does tie in strongly with the heart theme in the season two opening credits. And if memory serves me correctly, titans do not go out of their way to harm animals, which is why it was such a surprise when the beast titan tactically goes after the horse to trap the soldier. So the titans have a directive to kill humans only, and the only possible long-term benefit of that is to keep the earth from collapsing under the pressure of trying to keep so many people alive. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed enough to like, subscribe, and share this video. I've also got a lot of other videos on my channel that you are fully encouraged to go check out. Plus, you can find me on Facebook at Say Halo Goodbye, which is my gamer tag, or Twitter at the underscore family.